Good evening, investors. My name is Louis from the COSEC Research Team. Today is Tuesday, the 22nd of March, and here is your post-market wrap. Today, the Australian stock market rose a very healthy 0.87%, despite some very hawkish comments from the Fed Chair, Jerome Powell, overnight. The commentary did, however, send the market's expectations here in Australia for an interest rate hike in the order of 7 this year. That's up from just 5 earlier in the week. They do expect the first to come in June, and the three-year government bond yield also rose above 2% today for the first time since 2018. Westpac rate strategist Jessica Wren disagrees with the market, however. She's commenting that we still think June is too early. The RBA's rhetoric about being patient has not changed, despite the Fed and other central banks. Expectations for these rate hikes, combined with inflationary concerns and geopolitical uncertainty, have also turned to a drop in consumer confidence here in Australia. It's now fallen to its lowest point since September 2020. In company news, shares in New Hope Coal have today surged more than 8% after the coal miner posted a massive $330 million net profit to the end of January. This follows average realised prices of coal rising to $192.38 per tonne this year from just 77 in 2021. Borrow shares have today plunged more than 3.5% after the company warned that earnings have been negatively impacted by rising fuel prices and bad weather. And finally today, ServiceStream has today signed a 25-year rail maintenance contract with a consortium of other companies that sent shares just flat today. And to commodities, the price of oil is still holding at $112 US dollars per barrel, and gold is also flat. It's trading at $1,935 US dollars per ounce. Finally, to cryptocurrency, Bitcoin surged more than 4% today, up to 43,000 US dollars, while Ethereum is up more than 5%, above 3,000 US dollars. This market wrap has been brought to you by Kosek, Kadari Securities.